Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Lens are here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in the extremely easy, yes, even easier than that unpacking game, Towerscaper. Now this was developed by Oscar Stolberg, published by Raw Fury, and is usually available for a tiny 4 dollars but it's free on Xbox Game Pass anyway, so save yourself a fiver and give it to the person you love the most for Christmas. Yourself probably, a vain ass git. <laughs> Just joking. Anyway, this is as easy as it comes on the big GP. Unpacking was easy, but it was slightly grindy, whereas this game, we need to build like seven things, make a thousand blocks to the sky, and life is fine and dandy, easy cheesy, lemon bow squeezy. Now this definitely does act more of a uh, toy play rather than gameplay, but it's going to be a good, especially for those that love the good 1000 GS squeeze. Uh, the controls are very simple too, you press A to build things, B to delete them, right trigger and left trigger to zoom in and out, and the left stick to move, right stick to pan the camera, simples. So as I said, you're looking at about 10 minutes to get this done, so without further ado, well let's go ahead and do this thing. Um, so what I'm going to do first is actually, um, I'm going to get quite lucky to get the, now that's inspiring achievement, and that's basically for building building the blocks three high, but I end up doing it by deleting everything here and <laughs> end up making that. Uh, but I'm going to show you anyway, but if you want to get this one out the way, first of all, like I said, just um, build three blocks high and you'll get this big spire. That's pretty inspiring to me. Actually, it's not. Um, so, press the start button. Anyway, go down to the grid and obviously this whole grid's going to come on. Uh, now, this isn't difficult, but it is kind of annoying. What you have to look for on the grid is like a circle. Um, it may take you a minute or two, it may take you 30 seconds. So all we're looking out for is just the circle of life, not the Lion King style. The circle of achievements. There we go. So we've got a circle right there. That is exactly what we need. And the reason for that is, so obviously when we're building on the grid, the um, buildings don't, don't go straight. So obviously what you need to do is make a full circle of the bottom layers. So of course, just keep pressing the A button until you've got a nice full donut shaped Homer Simpson drool styled circle. And then you're gonna build all on top of it as well. So the second layer being the houses. So just build on top of that bottom layer like a Krispy Kreme donut. Oh, Christ, I'm starving now. Right, so, uh, pan down and then press the B button to get rid of all of the bottom layers. And then what you're going to do, well, we're going to have a flying house. And that's the first achievement done. So that's the propeller achievement done now, or propelled. So, happy days. Right, what we're going to do next is actually build a lighthouse. This one is as simple as popping spots off your face. And to do that, all you've got to do is just press um, press the A button to get the bottom layer, get another layer, press up on the D-pad to change the colour, and that'll go to white, and then just press, uh, press it up again to get the third layer. That will get the lighthouse. We don't have to mess around with any colours now as well. And again, if you want to get the spire achievement, if you didn't, just build, build the blocks three high, and that is what you get to get the spire in going. So next then, we're going to make uh, three blocks in a row. And we're basically going to get a hook and a house now. So build three blocks in a row, and then again, press the right trigger to zoom in if you need to. Uh, build three houses on top of it. And then what you need to do is build one ha uh, one block on top of the middle. Get rid of the houses on each side, the left and the right. And then, whoops, not this one, but get rid of the block underneath the house. And as you can see, that gives us Captain Hook. And that is how Peter Pan started. Right. So, next up we're going to build this lovely communal garden, oh, if only it was this easy. So what we need to do is, is find, um, we need to build it sort of five, five in a row, all the way around. Um, so find yourself a nice bit of land, you might have to go a bit more out on the grid if you need to, because uh, obviously we need it as straight as we can, so five across, all the way, until we get a nice little square going, like so. Gosh, I am good Am's architect. I should be Am's architect, man. Uh, you can also fill in the middle. We're going to need to fill in the middle anyway. So go ahead, fill that in. I wonder how much this is casting in concrete. Uh, what we need to do now is build houses all the way on the outside anyway. So go ahead, all the way around. And then what's going to happen is we get an automatic garden where all the old people get to fight when nobody's watching. That definitely looks like that type of house. So anyway, that is the gardener achievement. What we're going to do next is use this building to get the sculptor achievement. Now what you have to do is make holes in the houses on the second layer. So fill the bottom layer in. 
So get a hole in each side in top of the houses. Um, now, what I actually end up doing is doing it a, a bit of a different way. So we need to add blocks to uh, basically everywhere. So add all the blocks everywhere. Um, for some reason, it didn't seem to be working out for me. But what we need to do is just build it so that the uh, blocks are three high. And then just basically have the steps, as you can see, in the middle just going around it. And that's it. Uh, but for some reason, the way I wanted to originally do it was not working. So... As soon as you've built the blocks three high, as you can see, just make a gap in the second blocks in the sort of bottom of the houses or whatever you want to call it, whatever's easier for you, and that is what we do then. So you've got a nice uh, two-story building with a whole bunch of steps going around it going into the sea, so the old people are still going to probably drown. Uh, it's pretty awkward. They've got nowhere to go. So we've got that one done anyway. Um, what we need to do now is build, well, we're only building one more thing, actually. So what we need is three, this time, three down, three all the way around. Again, try and find a nice bit of, uh, square land if you can. There it goes, just by the, yeah, it might be, look a bit different for you, but it's all good. So, build it three around. All the way around is just delicious for me. So what we need to do then is build two houses either side. And one in the middle, and we need to do the same again, so we need it to make it a sort of two-story house building, uh, like so. Yeah, sometimes the controls can be quite finicky on this one. And then at the front of this sort of garden bit, get rid of that, there we go. So at the front of the house, build that one, and that will get us the architect achievement, so basically like a big posh old house. It's supposed to be a church door, but that just looks like a posh old house. Right, so we've only got three more tiny achievements left to get, and that is for building a hundred blocks, building a thousand blocks, and building it to the sky. So what you need to do is just press the left trigger to zoom completely out, so you're looking down on it, very much GTA, uh, GTA 1 style, and just keep spamming that A button, keep spamming it, try and keep the cursor sort of in the middle as best as you can, but it does make a difference. You just keep spamming the A button until we hit the limit. Hit the sky! So it's like one big diving board. I bet Tom Daly wouldn't be diving off of that. Hmm. Well, then again, I'm not much of a diver myself because I am useless at diving. I do belly flop diving. Which hurts, which hurts the gut muchly. So, yeah, just keep spamming the A button until you cannot anymore. Keep on going, keep on going, and then a thousand's nearly here. Then a friggin' thousand's nearly here, it's merry, merry Christmas. There we go, so that's the opulent achievement done, building all the way to the sky. Now, literally, all you've got to do is, if you've got any, um, you know, muscle left in your left or right thumb, however you play, usually right thumb, I assume, all you've got to do is just spam it a thousand, well, about 900, about 800 more times now. So, all I end up doing was just keep spamming, getting a bunch of towers on the go until the 1,000 blocks were done, and that will be that. So, <laughs> How easy was this, man? <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the uh, toy experience, anyway, rather than gameplay experience. But, uh, there you go. It's going to unlock for us eventually. There it is, then. So, there it is. Probably the easiest Game Pass game you will play in a long time. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the, the guide. Hope it helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And a big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just such legends. Well, that'll be it for me then, guys and gals. I guess I'll see you in the next one then. <laughs> big love.